Welcome to JLo Artist YouTube channel. Thanks for joining me on this artistic adventure. Today, we'll be working with charcoal. So you'll need your number two or HB pencil, a kneaded eraser, and use your oldest, rattiest kneaded eraser. This charcoal has a tendency to mess up a kneaded eraser. And uh, a piece of charcoal. Uh, you'll need a cotton swab for blending. And let's get started. When you're dealing with charcoal, charcoal comes in many different ways. There's stick charcoal, there's vine charcoal. Uh, I like pencils because they're a little cleaner. I'm gonna set my charcoal aside. We're gonna start with our graphite pencil. Um, and remember when we draw, we draw with the side of our pencil like this. Gonna do a lot of the charcoal that way as well. So the first thing you wanna do is just establish where everything goes. And so you can come in and you can say, well, um, you know, I want, I want his head to be, like his chin to be down in here. And that, that would leave me all this area up here for his hat and his, his face. Um, you, can, you can just kind of put some lines in there to say, well, this is kind of how big I want it. Uh, you want it to be as large as you can make it. So we do need some shoulder in there. So if you think, well, right here's a shoulder somewhere, and then his neck is going to come up here. There's the back of his head. And his hat, you can cut off his hat a little bit. You can have it come up and maybe cut off just a little bit over there. So it come up and around. That, that would leave this part here for his head. His face would be down in there somewhere. Neck, shoulder. So as you, as you start drawing, you just kind of start out with some lines and you're visualizing where everything needs to go. I could probably make this one a little bit bigger even. I mean, if I wanted to put his hat way up at the top, I could do that. So maybe, maybe I want to increase the size of this head just a little bit. Or maybe not. Maybe that's, that's good enough there. Some of you may or may not have heard of this guy, John Wayne. He was a big actor from the, well, I think some of his first movies were the late 30s. And he died in 1977, I think. And in that time, he made like 100 and, I don't know how many movies, 110, something like that. That's a lot of movies. And from what I understand, he was a very nice person. Integrity, you know, he, he kind of, that was kind of his, his motto, integrity above all. So he was just very, very nice. So then what you want to do is, is kind of figure out where the basics are. His nose, his eyes, his mouth, things like that. So once you've established all that stuff, then we can move on to the charcoal. But right now... Let's just keep going in his ear, that space, the ear is about right in the middle of that space. And we will adjust this as we go. I mean, that's, don't, don't try to get everything exactly perfect. I mean, you, you try, but you'll never do it. And so you just adjust and you just keep adjusting, adjusting until it's how you want it. And the pencil is nice because not only is it erasable, but it's, it's kind of cheap. So you don't worry about it too much. And because you're using the side of your pencil, everything gets erased easily. I often will do this where I take my pencil and I'll just kind of line things up, just decide where they they go. And I don't try to put in a lot of detail, I just mark it. This is where it 
kind of goes. The idea of proportioning, I mean, we, we're working on graphic enlargement. In this case, we're just lining things up. So you can use your pencil to line up things. You know, where does the ear line up with the with the shadow? Where does his hat line up with his head? You know, things like that. And the last thing I do is just clean up with my kneaded eraser. Anything I need to clean up. Sometimes things confuse me a little bit, so I, I want to erase them. Not everything has to be perfect right now, because as we draw, we're going to adjust. Adjust, adjust, until it's the way we want it. Don't worry if it's not perfect. You know what movie this this still is from? I'll give you a hint. It was his very last movie. It's called The Shootist. It had Ron Howard in it. Ron Howard is a mostly known as a director now, but he started out as a child actor in a show called Mayberry. And then he was in Happy Days, and his daughter is acting now. She is, she was in Jurassic World, one of those Jurassic ones, recently. So in this movie, he plays a gunfighter who has cancer. It was kind of apropos because he knew he had cancer. So once you get it to about the way you want it, about where you want it, then you can switch over to your charcoal. With your charcoal, um, you really only want to do the darkest areas. So you can work left to right or right to left or up to down, however you want to do it. I usually start out with the face um, because that's the most important part. You know, nobody really looks at the bow tie or, or really even at the hat much. But the face becomes very important. Probably start out with, with this eye right there. And from there I can adjust. I can adjust things as I go. So I'm just going to start out with the darkest areas that I see. He still is a quite famous actor. I'm not going to worry too much about things like wrinkles. Um, I can throw those in with my cotton swab, and I'll show you how to do those. But there are some very strong wrinkles that I do need to throw in. Here's the shadow that's across his hat. There's, there's a, it's really hard to see where his hat and his head end. And so instead of di really differentiating between the two, I'm just going to kind of shadow all the way through it, this side of my pencil. Because I'm going to smear that anyway. And even as I go, I can adjust. I can adjust this.
Not going to worry about the bridge of his nose even. I'm just going to worry about the tip of the nose. I mean, you can kind of see where it comes down. Pick out that shadow underneath his nose. And I have to adjust his mouth because his mouth is a little high. I have to move it down just a little bit. Things like his, his lips, all those things we can put in with the, uh, the cotton swab. When you're doing hair, you just you don't worry too much about each individual hair. It's kind of this texture and this mass. So you just kind of pick out some of the little darker areas and then just leave the rest out. We'll get it later. Ears are a funny thing, so if you just don't worry about the ear too much as far as what it is, just draw in some shadows, and all of a sudden, you'll have it. It'll be just fine. Anytime you want to do portraits, you start out the basic, kind of simple way, eyes, nose, mouth, and then as you go, you just adjust it and adjust it and adjust it until it's about right. Move a little edge here, or, you know, slide that a little over a little bit. So I probably have enough charcoal on here that I can use this to my advantage. This uh, this dark bit of charcoal that's in, in his hat here, I can use that to kind of grab some of that blackness and move it around. It's almost like painting with with dry paint. So I'm going to just make sure I've got enough charcoal on there that I can do that with. What this does too is it helps my charcoal to stay nice and sharp so when I go back into it like when I go into the eye or whatever and I want to get some of those really tight details 
um, that charcoal is going to allow me to do that. Not really sure where the edge of that hat is, but I'm just going to throw that in. I f I'll figure that out here in a bit. Suit's another thing that nobody's really going to be looking at the suit. So as long as you get the angles fairly close, doesn't matter if you can't even see the lapel or whatever. Because I can't. I, I don't know where, at least on this side. This other side I can see a lot of it. Trying to get out as much charcoal as I can so that I can start manipulating it and moving it around. And really, that's where the magic comes is when you start using your cotton swab to move things around a little bit. So I'm about ready for my cotton swab, and I'm just going to go in... And I can grab some of this that I've got in the dark areas. I can move it down. I can move it into some of these other areas. So I can just ever so lightly. And you don't want to, you don't want to add too much. You don't want to do too much at once. Because you can always come back in and add more later on. You can take that cotton swab now. And you can manipulate all that darkness that you've got. Blend it around. Everything has a little bit of gray to it, so don't be afraid to let that, that cotton swab just kind of skip over some of that surface and gray it out. You don't want to go too gray. But sometimes we worry too much about getting grayness into it. It's all gray. And there's very few little light spots in there. Even his, his eye is got a little bit of gray in it. It's not white. And I'm using my cotton swab now to get some of those wrinkly areas. Like across the bottom of his eye. There's a lot of little wrinkles in there. Anytime you need charcoal, you just go up in one of those dark areas and pull it out. Just take it on your cotton swab. You can rub that around in there and bring it down. It's almost like magic. It just kind of starts happening. Try 
Try not to get too much into the highlights because you can always come back in with your kneaded eraser and pull out a few little things. But it's a lot easier if you leave them out. A lot of fun to watch this kind of come together. And at first you're like, oh, it, it didn't look very good. doesn't look very good. And then the more you manipulate it, the more you move it around, the better it looks. So don't lose heart. Keep going. There's really quite a bit that you can do here. Uh, we'll probably never get through it all the time we have together. But that's okay. We spend a little extra time on the nose, the eyes, and the mouth. Those seem to be the most important characteristics of a person. Not always. I always spend a little, little extra time to do that. And the little wrinkles that are that he's got all over the place, a lot of those, as you as you go in with your cotton swab like this, and you can come back in with your kneaded eraser, and just hit some of those little areas. All of a sudden, it's like, oh yeah, I, I see those wrinkles. Teeth are another thing that gives people a lot of frets, and worries. If you just go in and just kind of shade in some of those teeth and then take your kneaded eraser and just come back in and dab out a couple of those teeth. It is not, not too big of a worry. And then the edges... And you got it. Don't try to do the lines up in between the teeth. Let the shadows take care of that. It's like the shadows of the lip. Just using my kneaded eraser to pull out some light across his cheek. And that will define the edge of his nose. I didn't need to draw that edge in there. It's, it's already there. This eye is a little high. I'm going to move it down a little bit. This is where that vinyl eraser comes in handy. That's better.
Anytime you need a wrinkle, use your eraser. Just pull out the light areas and you got the wrinkles. When you're done with this, we're going to want to spray them with fixative. These make a lovely, like Father's Day gift or something. A lot of your parents might know who this guy is and really enjoy having a hand-drawn picture of him. Once you get the face done, though, the rest of it, it's pretty easy. You can just kind of move through that with your charcoal and your cotton swab. And so that's what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to take this stick charcoal and I'm just going to go through it pretty quick. And blend it, and that'll be about it. Last thing you want to do to your picture, just make sure that all your contrast is good. So you, you go over it with your a kneaded eraser and pull out any light. And then go back over it with your charcoal in any dark areas that you need to. Clean up anything you need to clean up. A really good place for a signature is just right there in the <coughs> bottom corner. Make sure you sign it.
hopefully you had a fun experience today and learned something maybe and even tried something that you've never done before. And hopefully somewhere along the way, it's made your life a little bit better because art makes life better. <laughs>